are skipping ahead to tomorrow, which is now today. Good day, good morning. We're in uh, Maple Creek, Saskatchewan, the Alberta border. It's right over there, somewhere over there. We're gonna continue today's day all the way to our, uh, I guess around Calgary, and we'll start our new day on our way up to Edmonton. So tomorrow won't be a very long day, but we'll make it work, because today wasn't a very long day either. We were just sailing across these beautiful prairies that I call home. Not much to see, but it's home. So let's continue to the far west side of the prairies, the west side of Calgary. We've got to deliver these, these, these items that I have in the box of my trailer. Somebody's waiting for them. Somebody ordered them. Somebody paid for them. Somebody wants them yesterday. That's the thing with freight. Everybody wants their freight yesterday. Right, how do I get out of here now? It's the best one. Let's quickly do a tug test. Yep. My eyes did not fail me. My trailer is attached. Can I get out this way? I'm going to give it a shot. So we stopped at this, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a truck stop. Well, it says truck stop on their sign. It's an ESO. It needs a little bit of work. But it's a nice place to call home for a night. If you're going to stay in your truck. Up 200 meters, turn right on. Trans-Canada Highway, Highway 1. Absolutely, Karen. Good idea. So I'm guessing this is old Trans-Canada because it's a two-lane. It wasn't even that long ago that Canada or that the Trans-Canada was a two-lane right across the prairies. I can still remember that. I can still remember all the way through Saskatchewan and a big on this long for way. Come on, Karen. I'm talking here. All the way through Saskatchewan and a ways into Manitoba yet and into Alberta. I remember it being a two-lane yet when I was a kid. And then they finally twinned it just before I started driving in, uh, what was it? Well, I started driving in 2006, but I went over the road in 2011. So they're not that old, these highways. All we gotta do is uh, continue on this twinning idea through Ontario and British Columbia. Connect the entire country with four lane divided. All right, well, I got some coffee from that Exo truck stop that we slept at this morning, but it was more like coffee flavored water. So we're just gonna quickly swing in here to the Flying J in Medicine Hat, Alberta, pick us up a real bean to cup coffee. That should get us to our destination. We have another three and a half hours or so to go. And we're kind of down to the wire a little bit, so uh, I, I don't have a lot of time to stop here. Just a coffee and bathroom break and that's it. We got a boogie. Is that still a thing people say? Probably not. That's why I say it. We'll park right in front of the pumps if there's an open spot. I'm only running in for a coffee. I'm not having lunch. I'm not having a shower. Like some people do, they park in front of the pumps and they go in and get carried away and then they end up blocking the pump for an hour. Not cool. Not cool. You gotta go slowly through the pumps too. I see some NASCAR drivers out there flying through the pumps. 50 mile an hour. You're gonna kill somebody, man. What? What? I left the lights on. Hush. We're set. The world is right side up. Get in a hurry. When are we not in a hurry? Well, last week we weren't really in a hurry, but that's because the law kept slowing us down, getting in our way. So now we're off. No more stops till we get there. Don't want to be late. Looks like I'm going to arrive there around 1 o'clock, and I have to be there before 2. Good thing Calgary has that bypass uh, stony trail going around the city now so that I don't have to slow down. You used to have to drive right through the big city. I remember that still. And that took forever.
How do I save this? You notice anything fishy? Anything at all? Probably can't see it in the camera. <laughs> That's plastic. That's a plastic window. What do you think of my work, my handiwork? Not just a trucker. I also install temporary windows. So uh, the story goes, well, first of all, we're not gonna make it to our customer today. I'm gonna deliver, gonna deliver tomorrow morning now because driving down the highway, minding my own business, we came up to a construction zone. They were doing that dumb gravel paving thing that they always do, that I always complain about because things like this happen. I'll show you the picture of, uh, of the window on the screen here. So the speed limit went down to 50 kilometers an hour. There were signs out, signs saying no passing, 50 kilometers an hour, loose gravel, blah, 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 because they fixed the highways with gravel here in Alberta, just like Saskatchewan and Manitoba. And this is what happens. This is why they got to stop doing that. It's lazy, it's cheap, and it's dumb. A truck, of course people aren't going to be patient and actually go 50 kilometers an hour when the speed limit is usually 110. So of course they're gonna just blow past me. I'm doing 50 truck blows past me spitting rocks out like crazy a rock comes out from his truck goes through my window i haven't found it yet but it it blew open this window it blew apart this window shattered it everywhere i pulled over honked the horn flashed my lights of course he just kept going he saw what happened this sh window shattering out he saw it i saw him look in his mirror and i saw him his brake lights came on for a second and then he decided no nah, he kept going so we got it on our dash cam here <coughs> And uh, the office, the big boss, he wants to see it. And we're gonna go after that company. It was a commercial carrier out of British Columbia, I believe. I'll have to double check the plates on that truck, but I believe the company is out of British Columbia. Uh, blew past me in a clearly marked no passing zone, clearly marked 50 kilometer an hour zone, construction zone, blew past me, was throwing rocks. And exactly what, what happened was exactly why they lowered the speed limit and said no passing. The passing blew up my window and got it all on camera. We're going after their company. Uh, they're going to pay for a new window and for all the repairs and downtime. And uh, hopefully, like, uh, I didn't get any glass in my eyes or anything or into my... Uh, hopefully, I didn't breathe it in when it shattered beside me. So far, I feel fine. So far, But if anything develops from this, uh, we can add that to the list of things we're going to chase them down for. But for now, uh, I was lucky enough that it shattered out. I could go about a half hour down the road. It was a nice sunny day. And uh, I was able to uh, make it into Strathmore, Alberta here, go to the home hardware center and buy some plastic. I got enough plastic to do this twice, just in case this rips off. Uh, and I closed off this window because it's supposed to rain tonight. You can already see the rain clouds coming in there. And uh, nobody has this window in stock. You gotta order it and it takes three business days. So the shop ordered it. Uh, I put this on here for now. We're gonna get back to the shop at home and they're gonna replace it when I get back there and it should just take them less than a day and I can keep on rolling. That way I don't lose any time on the road. It gets fixed and everybody's happy. Uh, this plastic, I can see through it just fine. I can see into my mirror just fine. It's just like having a window here, except it doesn't roll down. So we should be all good. I'm actually pretty impressed with how this turned out. I'm actually not, not too impressed. Not to toot my own horn, but it looks pretty good. So that's uh, that's what happened today. Ridiculous. Slow down, people. And when there's gravel... First of all, stop fixing the roads with gravel. Government? Is anybody listening to me out there in the government? Stop that! Stop laying gravel. Stop being so cheap. Just do it right the first time. Just, just, this is what happens. That rock could have come through this window and hit me in the head. It could have killed me. But no, you want to save a few bucks fixing the highways. Oh, my life isn't worth that. Well, what is it to you? Spend the extra money and fix it right. And for those of you who are speeding through these construction zones, slow down. They did warn you to slow down and it's your fault you didn't slow down and now you're gonna have to pay. Cause I got a dash camera and we got you. So they'll be hearing from us. It's time to go though. I'm gonna to go to the other side of Calgary and stay in Cochrane at that Petro Pass. 
and uh, that's just down the road from where I have to deliver. I have a delivery appointment of 9 a.m. tomorrow now, and then I head up to Edmonton, quickly pick up a load there that's gonna take me back home to the shop to take care of this. So I don't know what else to tell you guys. It held. For some reason, it wants to like push out. It's almost like there's pressure in the cab that's greater, like the air pressure in here is greater than the air pressure outside. So I try opening that window over there and it does nothing. It just wants to suck this out. But so far it's held just fine. Hasn't moved at all. So, <coughs> excuse me. So it should be just fine. It kept all the rain. We, of course we, we had to drive through a huge rainstorm and in true Calgary fashion, we got to the other side of Calgary and, ha, huh, what do you know, clear skies. Just poured between Strathmore and this side of Calgary. Just a downpour. Not one drop of water got in here. Hmm. I guess that's where we're going to end it today. Uh, couldn't get unloaded today, but, uh, hey, we'll get unloaded tomorrow. We'll see what happens then. Thanks for joining me today. Every day is a new adventure. There's always problems. If you're going to get into trucking, just know there will be problems. If you're an owner-operator, the problems can get expensive. And if you're like me and got out of being an owner-operator, lease-operator, problems can just get annoying and time-consuming. And lucky for me, I don't have to lose too much time and miles because of this. But uh, there's always going to be problems. Life tries to knock you down, are you going to get back up or are you just going to lay down? <laughs>